Hi everyone, I just wanted to thank you for attending our Google 2.0 workshop today at Avenal Middle School. This is just a little video recap. Don't forget, you can find all of the Google information in our Middle School Tech classroom. Please feel free to share the class code with other people in your building who are interested in learning about Google tools. At the bottom of our classroom is the handouts from our Google Classroom Basics course that took place in February. Here you'll find cheat sheets on how to use all of the Google um, apps for education. And you'll also find a copy of the slides presentation that we used when we presented that workshop. You'll also find some other useful information, including professional development resources, Please check back because we will be adding to this list, or if there's anything that you want to share, please feel free to let us know so that we can add it. So today we talked about Google 2.0, which involved creating assignments and assessments. Now we covered a lot of information again today, so we're hoping that if you need to, you can, again, either go back and look at the information that we provided for you in the Google Classroom, or by working through our slides presentations that we created for you. Hopefully this information will help you to be able to create really useful assignments, to really build assignments. Don't forget that you can use the drafts feature so that you can work on things over a couple of days or even weeks while you're preparing for new lessons and new units. Don't forget that you can also make a file for each student. Remember, do that before you save it as a draft or assign it. Because if you don't do that prior, then you'll have to delete the assignment and start over again. When you're building assignments, you also want to think about the order that you're putting the assignments in. So if the first thing that I wanted my students to see here was the Tall Tales graphic organizer, then of course that would be the first thing that I would put in and everything would follow that. Don't forget what we talked about in regards to due dates. You don't have to have a due date. You can edit and change due dates anytime that you want to, and you can also uh, include times. When you're grading assignments, <clears throat> remember you don't have to put the grades into Google Classroom, but if you want your students to access their grades that way, please feel free to do that. You also have the ability when looking at students assignments to make comments which is something that we did not talk about today so if you want to learn how to do that um, please feel free to reach out to Samantha Tulloch at over at Avenal Middle School or me Jamie Gross over at Colonia Middle School and then the final thing that we showed you today was creating assessments using forms and using Fluberu to grade those assignments Remember, we have old Google Docs, I mean old Google Forms, and new Google Forms. And if you need to go back to the old version, you just click on the little running man down at the bottom. We also talked about sharing. Now Google Classroom will let you share your forms directly from your drive, but you can also share using a link if you wanted to share forms with colleagues or even with students. Again, remember when you're adding um, forms that you want to fill in the appropriate information. Then using Fluberu, you can follow these steps. You go to Add-on, and then enable Fluberu to your sheet. It will give you a series of notifications, and Samantha pointed out how useful this is so that you know exactly what Fluberu is doing while it's working in your sheet. Great assignment. This is where you would give things points, right? Remember, you always want to make sure you include a question like their name. You also want to make sure that you take the test so that you can make an answer key. And instead of name, you would use answer key. Remember, the people in red are the people who did um, did poorly on your assessment. Um, I think that it's set to 70 or below is considered poor. Um, and in the top, it'll give you your overall summary for that assessment. 
And these gold boxes down here, we touched on this briefly, that indicates the question that, that students did poorly on. So maybe it was only one question, um, and then you can use that to go back and review those specific points. And you can share grades with students from Fluboro using the Google Drive. You can include the list of questions and scores and also the answer key. So that's it for our Google training. If you have any questions, like I said, please feel free to reach out to us. Otherwise, definitely, definitely please refer back to our middle school tech Google Classroom. Anytime you think that you need some help or support, feel free to um, add comments if you think that is necessary and really get the conversation started. Have a great day.